and you know there's a guy who is at 135 but it's kind of your size and you put a tweet out and it said like if Loma could get past you know Tio you know and move back down that he stated that that's the fight that you guys should should get that that's the ultimate fight for me I think that uh I I probably said this in interviews. I think I said this in interviews when I was like two and noted and they asked me my dream fight. I said Lomachenko. I said this after I sparred Lomachenko. Um, if Lomachenko get past uh, that next fight and he do as he say he was doing and going back down to uh, one thirty, uh, I think I'm gonna be the first one to actually beat him. Mm. The first one to put a O on. I mean, uh, uh, one on his record. Uh, not a one. <laughs> Too, cause you feel me, but the first one actually be why he was you feel me Lomachenko at the top level. But but this is like the Lomachenko, like the pound for pound praise version, you know, the one that. Yeah, I think that I I I'd be the first one to beat him. Mm. Do you think he would be surprised at how much you've changed since you guys sparred? You know, would he? Would he? I'm already. I already know. Uh, since the last time I sparred him, I already know. Like I got way better. I develop more in the uh, pro ring. Um, I've still got more time to develop, too, to get better and better. So, um, no disrespect, he's kind of getting older. And I just think that y'all put him in the ring with me. I think that I'll be the first one to give him a, uh, like, I'll be him. Clearly. You think stylistically Clearly. that you have um, the perfect style to beat Lomachenko yeah. based off you know, you are, you can be offensive, but you possess a lot of defensive skills, making fighters miss by a hair. I think that uh, slow feet don't eat, and I feel like um, I got the feet, I got the hand speed, I got the boxing IQ. A lot of people ain't got the same boxing IQ that Chanko got. I got the boxing IQ, I got good punching power. Like, there's nothing I can't do. I think that I'm stylistically, like you said, I think that stylistically, I'm the perfect person to put, um, to uh, beat Lomachenko. I'm just curious if, you know, by any chance of that fight with Lomachenko and Teal, did you have a prediction in that fight, though? Do you see? I'm going to say it like this because I like to, like, keep it on it where everybody, when they ask me some questions and stuff like that. Um, I think that. I'm with Tio and I want him to win. Mm-hmm. And like when the fight happened, I like if I'm there, I'm definitely gonna be cheering for him. And if I'm not there, I'm be supporting him for like, my TV or wherever I'm at. But I just think it's a real difficult fight for him. I think that uh, Tio never been in the ring with nobody like on that level. Uh, don't get me wrong, Richard Cormier was a good fighter, but I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Being with the style which your coach may come with it. I watched him against Ray Beltran. Ray Beltran had him out on his feet a couple of times. And I just knew that that, that was going to happen. But getting in there with Lomachenko is like a whole different level. It's not like getting in there with other fighters that you know you can actually hit and, and stuff like that. Like So I, I don't want to make no prediction because of... Uh, because it's a really uh, hard fight. But I think that Tio, if he going to win, he going to have to try to get him out of there early. Because mm-hmm. uh, as the fight goes on, Lomachenko is going to get better and better and pick up the pace more and more. So I think that that should be his game plan, looking for the right shot to get him out, out of there with it.